general love reading for the sign of Taurus. Hi, Taurus. So, crazy little thing, you and Leo tied again. <laughs> Y'all's energy is like neck and neck. All right, so we're going to go. Um, it was Pisces first. It went Pisces, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, tied. So I have four. Um, normally I do top three, but I'm doing top four again. So let's go ahead and jump right in, Taurus. I hope y'all doing good. Um, whenever you find this reading, it's for you. If you are a past subscriber, welcome back. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. Whenever you find this reading, it's for you. All of my readings are timeless. So whenever you find this, it's it's for you. And you know, I'm not wildly popular on here yet. So if you found me, it's for a reason. There's a message for you. All right, Taurus, we're reading now for Taurus spirit. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. Let's let Taurus know what they need to know about their love life right now. Beautiful. Your energy feels very light and sunny, Taurus. Can I just say that? <laughs> I just had a vision of like somebody running in the sun with like um, really sun-kissed skin and I'm smelling grapes so weird but it feels really good and mint mm, two weird combinations i don't know maybe somebody's chewing gum while eating grapes weird i don't know all right what do we got for taurus that i don't know and channel weird shit sometimes all right taurus let me cut these for you taurus do leo right after this and then we'll call it a night whoa okay one more cut for taurus please okay all right, what do we got for Taurus? I'm gonna do four cards, please, Spirit, and then I'm gonna shuffle. I'm gonna put the cards back and reshuffle them again because I'm doing that to see if we have repeating cards that happened in Aquarius's reading. So that's why I put the cards back and then I reshuffle again. Wow, we have the Haynes Man and the Moon. There is no forward movement right now in this connection because someone is hiding some deep feelings or they're doing some shadow work. They're deep in their uh, feelings though. It's They're just not saying anything about it. Does that make sense? Whoa, that one flew out. King of Wands. Wow, okay, so. We have Ten of Pentacles. So there is a happy ending on the horizon. It's just. There's no forward movement while this person and I cannot tell if it's your energy or your person's because, like I said, your guys' energy is so intertwined. Someone is processing a lot of emotions. My camera just did some weird thing. Processing a lot of emotions. And so everything is sort of on hold right now while they're like trying to figure out their next move. I do see that they have really strong feelings for you. Like I feel these like butterflies in my stomach and like these feeling of like sort of wanting to reach out to you immediately all the time. But there's a reason that they're holding back and I don't know what it is, but it just. And for some of you, you could possibly be dealing with a fire sign because next to the ten of ten of pentacles, we have the king of wands. Okay which is um, fire sign energy. Um, I feel like too, like you force them to see themselves and like look honestly at like, at their thoughts and maybe like it sort of triggers them. Like, you know how in a twin flame relationship, you sort of like shine light on all of their fears and you force them to think about things that they really don't want to think about. But this Ten of Pentacles, um, they they definitely are planning a future for you guys. Like they've already picked out the the, the house you're gonna live in. Like <laughs> what the what your um, what um, 
your children are going to look like. Like, they have it all in their head. They just... I don't know. There's there's definitely a lot of feeling of like them holding things inside. So, okay. So there's the hanged man. These are all these feelings like being put on pause and holding and holding. I just keep hearing holding and holding. And there's the deep feelings that they keep trying to suppress and push down. And they're like, no, I'm not feeling like this. But they are. Because look, <laughs> ten of pentacles. This is like... Um, the family legacy, like planning a future with someone. And so there, you know, it's you, them, the dog, the kids, they're all there <laughs> in their head. But, you know, and there's the king of wands. Um, yeah, I just keep seeing this lizard. So like the lizard to me, like represents like learning, like they're, you're, you're literally teaching them. You're showing them things that they're, they've are they never experienced before. So they're kind of like almost afraid of the connection, I want to say, um, in a way, because they're like, they've never had a connection where they learned so much um, in such a short amount of time, if that makes sense. So it feels like a very highly spiritual connection. I'm going to shuffle. Whoa. I'm going to shuffle um, these cards a couple more times and see if we have any repeating cards. So can we get four more cards for the Taurus, please? After this, I will shuffle and see um, how you feel about this person in the connection. And then I will shuffle and see how they feel about you. All right. So can we get four more cards for Taurus? Um, I'm going to shuffle one more time. What else can you tell us about this connection spirit? It feels very strong. And I just heard the word earth. So if that means anything to anyone, I don't know why I just heard that. All right. Taurus, four more cards about this connection, please, Spirit. Thank you for allowing me to do the clearest channel for source messages. Spirit is coming through strong today. Oh, okay. Someone is not opening up in this connection. more cards please they had to let go of a lot of pain I think from a past connection so I think that's why they're so afraid It came out again. It came out in the reverse, though, this time. It wasn't like this. It came out like this. So where there is no movement, there's going to be movement soon. <sighs> the Fool also came out. So I feel like they want a fresh start with you. I feel like the reason they're hesitant is because they're not opening up. They've had to put a really bad negative and I say bad and negative like in quotations because there's never really any bad or negative experiences it's just lessons that we agreed to before we came here to you know live this life and be reincarnated we sign up for lessons with people soul lessons queen of wands so we have counterparts so if if this person is the fire sign energy they're coming across as king of wands they're seeing you as queen of wands so you might not be a fire sign taurus but they see you as very passionate very seductive very earthy and they see you as their sunshine if that makes sense they see you as the sun that makes sense as to why in the beginning of the reading i said um your energy feels very like sun i said oh, what did i say i said something about the sun I forget what I channel, but it was something about the sun. Remember I seen someone like running in the sun and so, oh, and there's the sun again. Look, you can't make it up right there in the fool card. So this card right here, the queen of wands, I see the sunflower right here. And this is how they see you. They see you as like the shining life force in their life. 
it's like it, it's like the thing that gives their life warmth and joy and um, you light up their life. Does that make sense? That that's how they see you. And so they cannot right now imagine a life without you. And they don't want to screw things up because they know that they had to put this very toxic connection that they had with someone in the past. They have to shelf that. And so they're a little hesitant to have this new beginning with you. And that could be a, a main reason why they're not opening up. I feel like they're kind of having a closed heart. And it's a lot of um, processing of these fear-based emotions where it's like they opened up to someone before in the past and that person might not have been so kind to them. I see this person was may even have been a narcissist and was very angry and um, sort of bullying them all of the time. And so now they have this sort of closed off like, I'm not going to do that again type energy, but they want this fresh start with you. Like the fool is, is they really want to jump in. And I feel like when they do jump in, they're going to jump in full force. Like this came out in reverse. So it's like where there was no movement, it's going to be like super fast, quick movement. And it's going to come really fast. And it's because they're processing these emotions and they're sort of leaving the past behind and moving forward. But it's a slow process. It's going to take some time. But once they get there, it's going to go super quickly, okay? Because they want their queen of wands. All right, and it's not about, you know, masculine or feminine gender. It's whatever you see yourself as. You could be a divine feminine and, and you know, like a divine feminine, like sexual, um, be a female gender and yet feel like you're more masculine and so therefore you would relate more to the divine masculine message that's coming through for this um or it could be vice versa you could be a divine masculine who feels very connected to your divine feminine energy and so either way this person sees you as their queen of wands and they want their queen and so they're not gonna hold off for very much longer Taurus. all right let's do um oh yeah Let's, I almost forgot to shuffle. So let's see how this person, let's see how you see them right now first. How does Taurus feel about this person right now? How does Taurus feel about this person right now? Oops. Okay. How does Taurus feel about this person right now? This person on their mind in the connection. How does Taurus feel about this person right now whoops it's a lot of blockages because i cannot shuffle these cards they just keep popping back out so either you or this person is trying to block a lot of the feelings out too i feel like it's both of you okay how does taurus feel about this person on their mind in this connection how do they feel about them right now okay so you feel like they are putting in a lot of work and a lot of effort to keep this connection alive. Um, you see them as a very hard worker, someone who's very grounded, and they might sort of ground you even more, which is really good because your Taurus is pretty grounded anyways. Um, and you see them as someone that you could build something with. You know, this is the Eight of Pentacles. It shows like... A lot of beautiful um, grounding energy. They could even be a fellow Taurus. I'm hearing like Taurus again. So I just pulled a card to see how they feel about you. And look at what came out. It's the star. So not only, oh my God, and look on the bottom of the deck. It's both of your guys' cards. Your energy is very strongly linked. And oh my gosh, again, look. Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck such strong energies you your guys's souls are very connected i'm picking up on both of your energies very strongly um again so they not only see you as like their sun they see you as their star they see you as their hope for a better life and future they have a lot invested into you they might not have told you but i don't see them holding back very long look at 
there is the energy of this person sort of pouring out their emotions. Look at that. The water represents emotions. And eventually they're going to start pouring the emotions because they're going to start coming out from all directions. Look, they're pouring onto the earth. They're pouring into the, the cup of feelings that they're feeling. So it's just a matter of time before that dam overflows, um, Taurus. So keep that in mind. <laughs> All right, let's do your crystal card. And then we'll do one card to let you know how your person is feeling in their heart of hearts, even though they might not be um, speaking to you right now, per se. And then we're going to do your roomy um, spirit message. All right, what do we got for Taurus? Taurus? Healing crystal for Taurus, please. What does our Taurus need to know that will heal them best at this time in the form of a crystal? Ooh, that is a long word. You delight. It focuses on the heart chakra. Um, the chemistry is complex, it says. A variety of pink garnet with typical typically other minerals entangled beneficial for energy forgiveness oh forgiveness see jealousy anger past lives self-love and confidence healing properties of e e dialate i hope i'm saying that right is helpful in relationships to show you who your soulmate truly is and why it helps you release negative thoughts about yourself and shows self-love it connects your mind with the emotional body promoting changes within yourself that is so phenomenally beautiful the energy from that stone already you can feel it is so delightfully loving and pink almost filled with like bliss and joy i feel a very rosy type energy coming from the stone energy all right, what does Taurus's person want them to know in their heart of hearts, even if they cannot speak it at this moment? Let's let our Tauruses know what their person wants to say deep in their heart of hearts, even if they cannot speak it into existence right now. <clears throat> Let's let our Tauruses know what their person wants to say to them right now, please. So beautiful. All right, I hope you enjoyed this reading so far, Taurus. All right. We're using my Lemurian Love Oracle. What does Taurus need to know, please? What does the person want to know in their heart of hearts to tell our beautiful Tauruses, please? There's so much peace in my heart today, you guys. All right. It says, we've had millions of missions together. So you and this person have had millions and millions of lifetimes missions together where you've saved the world space missions um you know earth missions maybe you guys were actually in um i don't know some wars together but you've always fought these battles side by side together and this lifetime is no exception once you guys find your way back into each other's arms there's going to be no stopping you and there's going to be no battles that you two cannot conquer together. And this is why I love what I do. This is why I love love because it is so pure and so beautiful. And I need some water after that, Taurus. Whew. And now I'm going to write that down because Spirit wants me to call. You're reading that. The mission continues. That's beautiful. <laughs> oh, I just got chills in my heart of hearts for you. What a beautiful connection. All right, can we get the last message for Taurus? And then I'm going to read for Leo and call it a night. All right, what do you got for Taurus, please? Tell me what our beautiful earth signs need to know about this amazing connection spirit. Thank you so much. You guys both have very strong love for each other. 
There should not be any doubts about where your person's heart belongs or where your heart belongs because I see your souls very, very tightly connected and this connection is extremely beautiful and rare. So definitely do not let this connection go, Taurus. Okay. Let's get, ooh, that one flipped. Oh my God. I surge on the uprising wave of love. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I surge on the uprising wave of love. Oh, there's so much love energy. It's card number five. Oh, it's beautiful, Taurus. Okay, I'm going to read a little bit of the poem for you and anything else I see guided to read. My life can be summed up in three accounts. I was raw. I was cooked. And I was burned. I surge on the uprising wave of love. No gravity can stop me from rising. The moon pulls the tide of life towards her. And my soul, in oneness with all of life, answers her call. A wave of love consumes me, and upwards I fly, flying through water to greet her shining body. Led by my heart, my wits are addled, and my mind becomes a blurry mess. And so I feel instead, feel the truth of her love and the divine reflection she shines back at me from her radiant heart. Oh my God, I'm going to cry. It's so beautiful. Taurus. Oh my God, I told you, your person had really strong feelings for you. Some divine feminine is deeply embedded into this um, divine masculine's heart. It is so beautiful. Greater forces of planetary movements affect us all. We experience day and night through the interplay of the earth, the sun, and the moon. This is a profound and obvious effect. The movements of the cosmos affect us deeply, body and soul. Some movements are perhaps less obvious in form, but are just as great, if not more so, in effect upon our spiritual growth and life experiences. You are growing through a cycle or very own, or wait, you are going through a cycle or very soon will be by which you will be moved by forces greater than your own personal will. This is a karmic period, a time during which the movements of greater planetary bodies will have an impact upon the earth and humanity. This is the way of things, greater cycles affecting smaller ones. The smaller ones are not less important, but they do have to bow to the power of the great in oneness with the magnificent unfolding divinity that is life itself. Wow, listen to this. I have to finish reading this. What we always have at our disposal is choice as to how we respond to these affecting movements and cycles. The effect of this karmic cycle now unfolding in your life is to bring you into sweet surrender and awakening into greater love, I told you. What a delicious, divine destiny. Oh my God, Taurus, I told you. So the karmic cycle is coming to a close and now you are coming into your cycle of divine, higher love with your person. So surrender, surrender, surrender and do not fight these feelings off because it's going to call for some massive surrender and cracking open of your hearts in order to fulfill your soul's destiny in regards to your love life. All right, Taurus, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, if you click the little arrow down here under the description box, it will show you my website so that you can purchase a reading for me if you feel so guided to. It's also got my tip jar. It's got my son's channel, which, you know, he puts a lot of work into. So check that out. Um... What else? My Etsy shop is linked below. I do have new products in there. So every little ounce of support from you guys helps. Um, I think that's it. I love you, Taurus, so much. And congratulations on your newfound beautiful connection. Bye.